As lawmakers are taking up a bill that could have a major impact on Colorado's cannabis industry. Denver 7's Danielle Kreuter breaks down the Safe Banking Act and explains why local dispensaries say they desperately need this to pass. You'd be hard-pressed to find any business on South Broadway more regulated than the marijuana shops. We cannot let anybody in the door without checking their ID. We have set back requirements, distance requirements. We have strict limits on what we can sell to patients and customers. Lock requirements for our doors, um, storage requirements, uh, audits, inspections. Uh, multiple agencies to adhere to. Most owners will tell you they're happy to follow the rules to be able to stay in business. Absolutely, that's why we're here. You know, without that, we wouldn't be here. But there's one rule they're hoping will change eventually. It's cash on. A lot of businesses that don't have banking abilities are struck with a lot of cash on site. Over the years, it's created a major safety concern. We've had multiple attempted break-ins and we've had multiple robberies. So, uh, and I'm not alone. I've seen a lot of other dispensaries are going through the exact same thing. With marijuana still illegal on the federal level, national banks don't want to touch pot money. Same with major credit card companies. If we could take credit cards, I would guess that 70 to 80 percent of my business would be transacted electronically. We wouldn't have that cash. We wouldn't be uh, at risk because the money's just not there. Both issues would be addressed in the latest version of the Safe Banking Act, introduced by a bipartisan group of U.S. lawmakers, including Colorado senators. The legislation would allow legal cannabis businesses to access banking services and accept credit cards without fear of federal punishment. Well, let me let me tell you, that would be fantastic. We're legitimate businesses. We pay our employees, we pay our state, and we pay our federal taxes. The owners tell us they hope to be able to bank and serve their customers the same way the businesses next door can eventually. I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Danielle, thank you so much. All right, going deeper now, we want to give you some extra context on this bill and other cannabis bills at the federal level. The Safe Banking Act was first introduced in 2019 by former Colorado Representative Ed Perlmutter. It has passed the House six times, but always seems to fail in the Senate. It's a similar story when it comes to full legalization at the federal level, with bills passing the House but stalling in the Senate. A new Republican-backed legalization bill Bill is expected to be introduced in the House this year. Speaker Kevin McCarthy is pledging to hold a committee debate and vote on it. 